people, so today we're going to try casual recipe uh, with the best cookies in the world made by my wife. So I'm just going to catch along, follow the journey and then maybe check what we need to remember. Anyways, let's just get started. So we are using the KitchenAid. Um, you can always, I don't know, can you do this manually? Um, yeah, you can. So you can do it manually. Alright, so it's three cups of oats. These are just organic but oats. So we are using something called tahini. This is basically sesame seed paste. It comes in the container. So we're going to add one cup of this paste. Oh, here we go. One cup. So next we're doing the maple syrup, the goody stuff. It's gonna be three quarters of a cup. So maple syrup is my uh, favorite sweetener, you know, it's just a natural candy from the tree. Uh, you know it has a nice flavor, no artificial sugars or anything like this and always really nice in the cookies. One fourth teaspoon of salt. So next, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Sprinkle it in. And one So next, one teaspoon of cinnamon going inside the pot. It's just under a teaspoon. Yeah, that's everything that goes in there. So now we just need to mix it. So basically now we're going to turn on our machine and let the machine do the work for us. Yes, and then we're going to chop the chocolate, that's the last. So if you want to do this by hand, you can do this by using like a heavy duty spatula or just a spoon and just start mixing the mix, you know, to get a nice blend. It's looking pretty good. So are you enjoying watching this video? Please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit the like button. Anyways, let's continue. Okay, next we're going over there, we're going to be chopping the chocolate. So we are using this amount of uh, dark chocolate, I'm using the 70%, you know, it's all the good stuff without the bad stuff, uh, but we're just gonna throw it on the scale to see how many grams we got. 100 and about 50 grams, or 6 ounces and something. So we are actually using the chocolate, it's, uh, it's called Water Bridge, this is a uh, Belgian chocolate, the best in the world, so this one we actually get in locally here in Walmart, they also have some different kinds of chocolate, uh, but this is my favorite one. Okay, chopping time people! Okay people, so we are aiming here for kind of like a chocolate chip sizes, uh, you know, if you want you can still use the chocolate chips, but personally I prefer, you know, like the real chopped chips. So all the chocolate is now in the pot too, so we're going to mix it again for a little bit. Looks good! Okay, so now it's uh, time to preheat the oven. Actually, we are too late to preheat the oven, now we have to wait. Anyways, let's just preheat the oven. So we're going to put this on 350 Fahrenheit. Okay, we're back. Now we are here with a platter. We're going to use this with the parchment paper and then we're going to make some... Excuse me, make some balls with the um, one tablespoon size. Exactly. So people, as you can see, this was a very easy recipe for the best cookies in the world. So, um, you know, let's say the best healthy cookies in the world. Okay, in the meantime, so uh, this is the oats I use. Um, just for everybody to know. And then this is the tahini that I use. So uh, this one we get from Amazon, I think because uh, I believe my local store don't have this. I will put the link in the description below.
Okay, so now we are squishing them down to make them more like cookie size, actually cookie shape. Okay people, so this one batch of cookies about for two trays of cookies. So approximately here we have about 40 cookies in total. Okay people, time to put the cookie dough in the oven. Better mm, wrap. Ten minutes. Okay people, see you in ten minutes. So quick tip when they come out of the oven they're still pretty uh, soggy so you should let them cool so they are getting a little bit harder and then you can move them. So you know just take it easy I know everybody is hungry for the cookies but just wait a little bit. Okay people important message from my wife. If you want any more cookie recipes, healthy cookie recipes, just let us know in the comments. Anyways back to the cookies. Okay, one more tip, if you don't want to use tahini butter or you can't find it or for some reason you don't like sesame paste, uh, you can actually substitute this for any nut butter. So, you know, like uh, for example, peanut butter or sunflower seed butter, uh, almond butter, any other butter that is from nuts. Okay people, the cookies uh, cool off for a few minutes, actually this is my favorite moment because the chocolate is still a little chewy in the mouth, so very good. Anyways, they're still very good when they cool off, but this is just, you know, the ultimate moment. Oh, nice. Mmm. Okay, people, thank you for watching the video and see you next time.